What's going on everyone and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. My name is Scott and we're back here for another night of Halloween Horror Nights. We're gonna see how fast we can get all the houses done and also I have my friend here all the way from Orlando so I'm curious to see his first time reaction to Hollywood's event. First time ever and first time at the park. So with that being said, let's go get inside Halloween Horror Nights and have ourselves a great night here. We got my friend here, Hollow Thrills, Michael. Are you excited oh, for Hollywood tonight? Super excited. It's my first time even at Universal Hollywood, so. Yeah, he's been to City Walk, but not the actual park, so let's go get inside. I don't know what we're gonna hit first. Now we're a little bit late here for early entry. We got in about 6.20. Blumhouse opens up at 6.30, so just to kind of keep track of time, we'll see how long it takes us to get into Blumhouse. Kind of to keep you guys updated, the house is supposed to open up at 6.30. It's about 6.40 right now, and we haven't moved it all, so. I don't think they've opened it up. Um, curious to see why operations are like this, but not the best start. Well, everyone, never mind. It was uh, not open yet for Blumhouse, so we're making our way over to other houses. So we're gonna start off with Logan on the inside. Posted at 15 minutes. Should be shorter than that because it looks really short. <laughs> That was probably one of the best run-throughs that we've had of La Llorona this year. I, I just love the house. Each time we walk through it. We need a walk through it at night this time. We walked through it in the rain. We walked through it during the pure daylight. We need to walk through it at night. On our way at 6.52 over to Horror Hotel. Got La Llorona done in like five minutes. Like actually, it wasn't even five minutes. It was like 30 seconds. Posted at a 30 minute wait right now. Also, they added this little banner, which I haven't seen yet. And no, we're not going to this haunted house. But Michael, I want to know, first house here at Hollywood, what was your reaction? That was actually really good. That was one of my more excited houses for the event. And it reached the expectations and slightly exceeded them. I'm actually really, that was really good. And there was minimal black walls, so. I can't wait for you to see a horror plus. hotel. Horror hotel, it's like, it's kind of like a sound stage, but it's not. Like, it's weird, you'll see in there. So yeah. we're about to hit Horror Hotel. I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm intrigued. Here we go, making our way in at seven o'clock once it open up. It was posted 30 minutes. We're walking right in though. I'm thinking it's gonna be another five minute wait. Of course, now something new that they just added is they have a whole NFT collection for both Four Nights in Hollywood and in Orlando. So that's a thing, then they have it. They do have the pre-show working today too, or the little elevator scene that Murdy was talking about in the behind the scenes. So let's see if we can catch it though. Oh man, I think we're gonna miss it. Oh, here we go. We last minute caught it. It's a great start to the night already. We've gotten two houses done. Aside from the whole Blumhouse thing, let's just say we started our night at 6.45. We're heading down to Scarecrow and Halloween. It's posted at 45 minutes. I don't think that's the case because I think they started off at 30 minutes and then they kind of just add to it, but we'll see. It could actually be 45 minutes. However, it is scarier for opening night, so it doesn't seem too crowded quite yet. And as I predicted, it says 45 minutes, but here's a kind of Look at the wait right now, not too long at all. We've been in line for about nine minutes right now. It looks like with Scarecrow's issue that a ton of people are in Express, so it's holding up the standby line. So yeah, it looks like they finally updated um, Scarecrow's wait time now with how big Express is. Posted at 70 minutes. It's the longest wait of the event right now. Ah uh, yes, and this is definitely one of my favorite facades here in Hollywood. Back there or what? Right there. 
after a solid run through Scarecrow heading into Halloween, posted at 45 minutes. And same with Scarecrow, I see the Halloween Express filling up quite a bit. 48 minutes into our wait, and we're almost to the front. I'm not going to sugarcoat it to you guys. Their operations with Express is a little bit of a pain. I wish that they just sell a certain amount and not oversell it because that makes it to where standby is terribly long. But 40 minutes, we're almost at the front. And we officially have waited an hour for Halloween, which was originally posted at 40 minutes. Now let's go find Michael. say after you know the wait for Halloween it was a good run through probably our best run through um, so by 9 30 we've gotten four houses done so that's half the event on kind of a, a busy night now like I said we started off at six o'clock we didn't start off at the normal like five o'clock time so I could obviously play a little bit of a difference since you know we weren't able to make it down to the lower lot houses which are the ones that open up the earliest but as of 9 30 oh my gosh you have one missing now uh, no, I can't. I can't. I gotta go back. <laughs> Imagine being a loser and not getting your Halloween NFT. Imagine it wasn't there. In the very back of the, like, the whole extended Q shit. Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's mad that he didn't get his Halloween NFT. I want my sticker. You know. What made you think of that? Huh? What made you think of that? Uh, there was the QR code up there that said, uh, <laughs> with like the Coca Cola freestyle. I was like, what did you think of our Halloween compared to yours? Orlando's is better. I mean, it might just because of the be because of the fact that it's in a sound stage and yours is in a tent. Um, but ours follows the movie like a lot more sequentially. Yours is kind of all over the place. Turn from a true Halloween fan here at the Halloween shirt. After we grab something to eat, we're gonna go hit up Universal Monsters right now. Close to a 35 minute wait. It's the lowest wait time here on the lower lot right now. Now I just want to say, when I talk about these long wait times and everything, it's not because I'm just like hating on the vent. It's just because there's there's things that I observed coming here multiple nights and I've observed over the years. I just, I want to put it out there so everybody's prepared for it. Oh no, watch out everybody. There's going to be a scare after coming out right here. A giant velociraptor. Terrifying. So like just to get kind of an idea, Express for Monsters is empty right now. Like you literally, it's Express, you walk right up to the house. And that means that we are also moving in standby at a more rapid rate than we were in Scarecrow in Halloween. And as we walk in right now, we waited a total of 14 minutes. Uh, awesome. I hope we get an awesome run through for this house. Just like the awesome wait. The best part about this house, that seagull right there. with monsters um one thing that i noticed one big thing sorry i didn't film there i was just too busy getting pictures one thing i noticed at the end i took a picture of it it was not the stilt walker it was just a, a wolfman so are they trying to like set up a winner at the end or what but i'm not sure why he wasn't there they had him there when uh, it was raining outside but they just had him not on stilts but still with the same mask and everything. So I don't know, it was a little bit It's time to head into the weekend after hours nightmare. It's posted at a 75 minute wait. <laughs>
with just a weekend, it's just, it, there's no like express issue with it. It's just because it's such a popular house. So we waited an hour and a half for that compared to 75 minutes, a little around the same region. Didn't get the best run through of it, but still regardless, the weekend after hours nightmare is just such a great house regardless. And it's a long house too. Now to kind of give you guys a general idea, it's like 12.30 right now. So it's midnight, past midnight. And uh, La Llorona is still at 105 minutes. Uh, so, like for a Thursday night, it's not it, like the crowds aren't dying down as it goes later in the night. And <laughs> it's, uh, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but you can really tell the crowds with it being past midnight and the line for the studio store being insane. I've never seen it this long. Well, that's going to do it for our night here at Halloween Hornets here at Universal Studios Hollywood. And you know, like I said, Sometimes they're gonna be great nights, sometimes they're not gonna be the best nights, but uh, I wanna dive more into this in my like official Horror Nights review. Tonight was a rough night, but we we're still able to do our favorite houses. We did six houses in six hours, I believe. It was from six o'clock to midnight. We did six houses, obviously, like I said, we did all our favorite houses. The only ones that we missed were Clowns and Blumhouse, which are at the bottom of my rankings list. So I was happy at least I get to walk through the weekend and of course Scarecrow. So. That was a lot of good fun, and it was good fun with my friend uh, Michael. Make sure to check him out. Hollow Thrills down below on YouTube in the description. Anyways, everybody, my name is Scott. You've been watching Exploring Attractions. Positivity is key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.